How to jump rope like the man, the myth, the legend. Jump rope squats like Mike Tyson. Coming up. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Geraldo from Elevate, bringing you the best tips and tricks to get you skipping like a boss. On this channel, I feature a lot of jump rope tutorials, motivation, and also routines. So if you're new out here, consider subscribing and also ring the bell to make sure you don't miss a thing. In today's video, we're going to cover how to do jump rope lunges like boxing legend Mike Tyson. This exercise is great for cardio, working those glutes, and spicing up your sessions. Don't get it mistaken, it's a hard move and getting the proper technique in for this move is very important. So that's why we're going about it step by step in this video. But before we're getting into any of that, if you haven't treated yourself on one of these babies yet, make sure to navigate to elevaterope.com and order your Elevate Rope or Rope Set and use coupon ELEVATE10 at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. Now without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. Hey, what's up guys and welcome again. As always, the first thing we'll quickly cover are the basic mechanics. If you're a frequent visitor of this channel, you probably know this by now, but if you're new here, pay close attention. Before starting out, make sure your rope has the right length. As you can see in the video, my rope is pretty short. Don't start out like this when you're a beginner. To start off, I recommend lengthening the rope up to your nipples, and if you're really struggling, then try armpit level or sh shoulder level, and work your way down from there. Next off, always jump on the balls with your feet and keep your wrists close together while performing your side swing to keep full and pace control of your rope. Now before getting into the squats, you want to make sure your side swings are on point. You don't want to be struggling with your side swing when you're focusing on your squat technique. So to make sure that doesn't happen, we're doing side swing drills to get a feel for them. If you landed on this tutorial, you probably know the basics of the side swings already. If not, I'll link a tutorial for it on the top right of this video. Note that you don't have to go super fast as seen in the video. The most important thing is that you completely master the side swings without thinking about them. Keep repeating side swing, side swing open until you can do them on autopilot before progressing to the next step. The last step before putting it all together are the squat stretches. Now if you're flexible, you can probably skip this step. I am not, so I always like to prepare my body on what's coming to prevent injuries to both my joints and muscles. I suggest you do too before entering into any power moves like squat drills. Time to put it all together. If you've mastered the first four drills, you'll probably crush it right away. Keep in mind to keep your side swings clean, your wrists close together and jump on the balls of your feet. Also, take it easy. First do one squat jump, then two, then three, and so on. Try to incorporate your squat jumps within your variations and you'll be skipping like Tyson in no time. Thank you. 
Now that's all guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, like this video, leave a comment in the comment section below, share it with your friends, and I would also love to know what kind of tutorial or maybe what kind of challenge you would want me to feature in one of the upcoming videos. Let me know in the comments below, send me a DM on Instagram, and I will see you on the next video.